from the Farmhouse 1820. I'm the husband. As I mentioned previously, Brooke loves to collect things. Like I said, dishes, wooden spoons, and lamps. This one being no different. This was found at a local flea market. If you ever watch Flea Market Flip on the uh, Discovery Channel, whatever channel it's on, it's uh, right here about uh, five, ten minutes from our house. They film a lot of it there at the Stormville Flea Market. And that's where we got this uh, marquee letter. Our last name is uh, Fedigan or for Farmhouse 1820, you decide. But uh, I went ahead and wired this guy up a little while ago and uh, put on just a regular on-off toggle switch on the plug. And we want to add a dimmer to it. So we're actually going to change out the plugging on this to a rotary dimmer. And we're going to show you how easy it is to do something like this yourself. So we'll just turn that guy off. We'll make sure we unplug it again. Okay, now that we have it unplugged, we just want to make sure there's two things we want to know when we're working on this type of uh, switch. You want to know exactly which one is the hot and which one is the neutral. And in the actual plug itself, on the right hand side is always the hot and the left hand side is the neutral. And then also on the plug itself, there's a smooth end and a ribbed end. So when you actually separate them a little bit like this, you'll be able to feel which one is the smooth end and which one is the ribbed. The smooth is always the hot side of the plug and the ribbed side is the neutral end. So when you're opening up the uh, jacket off of there for the switch, you want to make sure that you cut the hot end and then you're going to wire that to the actual switch itself. So we're going to go ahead and remove the toggle switch we had in place for this. And we're going to put the rotary dimmer end on there. I already loosened the screws out of this guy. So we're just going to go ahead and take the two hot wires off. And then we're going to connect them to the rotary switch for the dimmer. And then once again, like I said, usually you can just use a razor blade and cut the wires in between here. And then you want to cut about three inches off in between so that when you wire it to the switch, it's already preset for which way it's going to go. Okay, now we're just going to show you up close here. You just want to get yourself a razor blade nice and sharp. You want to try to get right through the wire here, cut it in, and then you're going to just slide it right down the middle of the wire, and then that's where you're going to put your switch. So you want to be about three inches down, and then you're going to cut the smooth end. So one of these ends you can see has rib marks right here on the side, and then the other end is smooth. So the smooth end is usually going to be your hot wire and the ribbed end is going to be your neutral wire. So you just go ahead and cut that right in half. You're going to take off about an inch on each side and then you're going to cut back the smooth end and expose the copper. So you're going to just strip that right there where you have it. And then you're going to strip. So we're just going to go ahead and open up the dimmer here and then we're just going to wire this up. And once again, like I said, the smooth end is the hot side. The ribbed side is the neutral. So the neutral just wants to pass right through to the light. And then the hot, which is going to be what turns it on and off, is going to get wired in right here to these uh, brass screws. So you're going to want to put this on clockwise again and then lock it in nice and tight. So you make a good tight connection in here. And then same deal with the other side. And you make a little bit of a hook out of it. You wire it in there and you get it going. And you don't have to have a fancy marquee light like this or uh, this will work on any lighting fixture that has a cord going to it. So if you want to put a dimmer on any light inside your house, you just order one of these uh, inline dimmers and then this is how you wire it up. Okay, now that we have the dimmer hooked up to the cable, we're going to plug it in and give it a try and make sure it's working. We'll hold it up so you can see our marquee letter and let's check out the dimmer. There we go. So you get a full blast, or you can have it just nice and light like that where you can see all the filaments. So this is another episode here on farmhouse1820.com. Uh, this is Brooke Fedigan's YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to her YouTube channel below, and make sure you follow her blog at farmhouse1820. And once again, I'm not a licensed electrician. I just play one on Broadway.